Hi, I'm Rob from Popzine.com and thanks for joining me for this uh, part two of this um, look at these new beers from the Camden Town Brewery in London. This time we're looking at the Black Friday, Black Pilsner, 4.8% uh, ABV and fantastic looking label. Really lovely label, nice detail, just cool, young. I think that's what they're, how they're trying to kind of place themselves. I mean, not, not becoming like everybody else and doing IPAs and Imperial Stouts and copying that kind of American um, um, kind of business kind of plan, really, that kind of mo business model, sorry. Um, going towards uh, the more, more mainstream styles, lagers, a nice kind of low ABV stouts definitely should be knocking um, called tandering or should be knocking um, Guinness off of a lot of um, taps in the capital if you ask me it's a really nice sessionable stout so I mean th these beers need to appeal to a kind of a young audience and it does it looks really cool and if you saw that a, pump, uh, a font front with that on it you'd buy it if you were kind of like a a young hipster in <laughs> in London which I'm cl clearly not in London or young or a hipster anyway so let's get this open, 4.8% ABV. There's one thing on the back which had caught my eye and I thought that's really cool. Uh, it just says, put beer in the fridge or get seven years bad luck. Just on there. That's really cool. <laughs> As you should, get, now, get, your, get your lager nice and cold. So, this is a limited release, it says on the bottle. Once again, I got this online from beer merchants. Always a fantastic service from beer merchants. I don't know, fancy as much sediment in this we've been dark. Um, not much of a head on this one, just a, a little fizz of kind of mocha coloured head. The beer in the glass, really dark chestnut, kind of dark mahogany stroke chestnut. Um, let's have a sniff. Ooh. There's a really nice malt quality to that. It's, it's quite a bready, kumamite, a, a vague coffee which is slightly overtaken by like a really nice rich caramel. Mmm, that's interesting. It does smell like a lot of decent kind of um, German kind of Schwarz beers, which I'm a big fan of. You just don't get them that often. Bit of, maybe a bit of, yeah, I guess that that beef stock kumamite. Aroma. It smells nice. Anyway, cheers. Let's dig in. Mmm. Once again, you can see the kind of consistency of the brew there. Mmm. And a nice amount of kind of maybe a hint of hot bite at the back end. Initial flavours quite nice and wet, and a nice amount of sweet malt. Which is followed by a slight kind of cola sweetness, a hint of that kind of cola um, flavour. That kind of beefy, dry beef stock kind of appears in the middle, and then the back end, that's where it becomes really kind of interesting. It dances about a little bit. There's a nice amount of kind of hot bitterness just there. A nice amount of maybe coffee. Yeah, definitely a nice roasted floral coffee just there. It's kind of wafting around your kind of nasal cavity. At the back end, a really nice bitter aftertaste. I think a bit of a fragrant coffee continues in the flavour. Nice roasted malt. And a nice lingering. It's kind of like a combination of espresso and maybe like a lemon rind. It's got a hot bite, I think. But sometimes that uh, that hot bitterness can be uh, confused by the bitterness of uh, of of the malt. And you put some a lot of dark malts in there, you'll get a bit of um, bitterness out of it all itself. That's really good. It's really good. It's got a nice complexity to it. It's not over the top. Really nicely balanced, really lovely clean flavours. I've been really surprisingly um, uh, nicely surprised by these beers. I think they've, they've got a lovely consistency to them. 
and just really nice, well-defined flavours. I am slightly surprised. <laughs> yeah, I think um, last time I had um, a couple of the lagers a while back now, I wasn't kind of blown away, but these have really impressed me. Excuse me. Just really solid, but exciting in the same sense. I mean, if you go to a, a, a bar in, in London, you normally see some generic, even something not that like, um, generic like Erdinger or um, Budvar Dark, which is the bit. I mean, if you see that, I mean, that, that looks a lot more exciting, and hopefully, that should appeal to the younger drinker and just anybody actually who's got a clue and got a bit of visual kind of um, <laughs> interest in anything in what's kind of looking cool, looking visual. I mean, it looks good, it's well presented, it's a lovely tasting beer. Both of them, both of them really are. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with both of them beers, <laughs> I really am. Anyway, so that's the second of my two parts of uh, the beers from Camden Town Brewery. Really nicely surprised actually. Um, Black Friday, uh, Black Pills and a 4.8% ABV. Very, very nice, I'd say. Um, maybe out of the two, which is my favourite? Maybe the uh, the US Hells. Yeah, that is really nice, but I think it's that kind of little something different that makes that stand out. I think that's just a really, a really solid um, de um, Schwarz beer, but with a, a little kind of hot bite to it, which I really like. But I think that's just... It's got something that is that little twist I think I'm enjoying. So yeah, very nicely done. Anyway, I'm Rob from popzine.com. I'll see you next time. Comment, subscribe, all that good business, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.